Hey, it's Louise Schofield, and today I'm in Hackney, which, cool fact about Hackney, is where comedian and British bake-off banterer Noel Fielding was born. Hmm. But we're not here to talk about comedy and cakes. No, we're here to interview Imogen, who is the project manager of the Piss and Head Foundation, which is an initiative to help and support exciting creative projects. So we're here in the Shacklewell Arms to chat to Imogen more about the project, learn more about the Piss and Head Foundation, and also experience this amazing themed spooky event and I'm going to look very out of place but it's going to be fun. Let's check it out! I'm now joined with Imogen Stooks, who is the project manager of the Piss and Head Foundation. Thank you so much for coming down Thanks today. <laughs> this is such a cool event as well. Like it's so yeah. cool that you work with such quirky events and you get to do stuff like this. It's yeah. so good. <laughs> so where did like the Piston Head Foundation begin? Because it's this year that it launched, wasn't it? Yeah, so um Piston Head Lager have obviously been around a long time, so they're and um, the alternative craft beer brand. So I know you work with like bike brand as well, don't you? Like motorbikes and yeah. stuff. Yeah, so Piston cool. Head have always been around about sort of like um, motorbikes and things. So we yeah. actually, um, this year as well, we um, worked with Vince Summers, who is a um, bike builder. So Amazing. he's got like 18 years experience. And um, yeah, he's one of the like, best bike builders in the business. Wow. Um, so he has helped us make a Piston Head bike. Wow, yeah, that's so amazing. It's actually flat tyre themed, but um, the non-alcoholic version of flat tyre. Don't drink and drive. Um, yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's kind of the thing we're going with. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so it's all non-alcoholic flat tyre. It's got all the rand on it as well. So, um, yeah, so we worked with him to sort of like create that as well, which is really cool, and did a launch party at House of Land. So, yeah, I've got loads of like cool things going on. But, is um, there a, a leather jacket? Because I think that would look so good, like a leather, that is a leather jacket. There should be. I think there's a bomber jacket. But okay. I don't think there's that's a good. leather one. Leather one would that's be sick. That's a good idea. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to look into it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so Piss and Head has always been about sort of challenging the norm, you know, the rock and roll, rebelling. We decided that we should launch an initiative um, in the UK because um, obviously post stagnating in the creative industries, yeah. um, music venues are closing, that sort of thing. So um, we just wanted to do something to kind of help out with that and yeah, kind of make our brand all about sort of supporting um, yeah, emerging musicians, artists and uh, music venues basically. We've worked with a huge range of um, sort of creators and so we've worked with Sort of so young magazine, it's a music magazine, and yes. then the Secret Co. It's like a streetwear brand. Um, but yeah, we have had a couple of sort of long-term partnerships this year, um, which is amazing, and it's really great to sort of carry on that and um, building their brand and that sort of thing with Piss and Head. Yeah. Um, so Roadkill Records, which is the event that we're at today, and um, this is the second event we've done with them. I've also worked with them on a interview on our website, and um, so help with sort of brand building for that as well. Yeah. Um, and then also Modern Age um, Music. Yes. We have sponsored their tours um, and uh, sort of music events this year so that's been a really nice sort of long-term partnership to have over this year as well. So I'm now joined with Josh Cooper who is founder of Broken Records. Yes that's right yeah yep. it's me and one other guy. I'm working with Piston Head as well it's really have you worked with Piston Head before? Yes so uh, yeah in the summer we worked with them for the first time we did like one of the biggest things that we've done so far which was like a, a weekend event at the Victoria so it was a larger venue than we usually do. It was a massive success. Like the lineup was amazing, and I, and I, I can't speak highly enough of everybody involved. But yeah, so Piston Head were, you know, we were very lucky to have them on board, helping. Um, they did a bit of promotion behind it. They, you know, fed us loads of beers. Yes. Um, I think it was great for us. Like when you do this for a number of years, a number of live shows, and, and the record label and the podcast and what have you when other people kind of take notice yeah. and show interest and support. Yeah. Um, it really like it does it helps. You're very supportive of the independent music scene and yeah. with the independent music venues all closing down, like it's nice that you guys are getting involved in that because it's so important because this yeah. is where music grows. 
And yeah. it's great that you guys are on board with that. I think it's mm. great. I think it's really, really good. Yeah, so in, obviously independent music is such a key part of the industry. Massively. And um, we, like, I think most big artists would say, like, without independent music venues, they wouldn't have got big because, like, yeah. most people start off playing in these smaller places, like, on the outskirts of London or other cities and things. Yeah. So um, for us, since we're supporting these emerging artists and musicians, it's obviously core cool for us to support these venues. And yeah. um, for example, like, here's a shack of alarms is an independent venue and and we have a lot of events at different independent venues so we're always having to support the, the venues at the same time as we're, we're supporting the artists. Ground root venues are, are suffering so much and and unfortunately not every band can fill a 500 capacity venue. No. You need these venues who can support upcoming bands who can play in front of like 50, 100 people and start their careers because that's where the next big bands begin. Oh yeah. Um, I, I, I really am a strong believer that people need to get out and see people when they're when they're playing in, in venues like this one. This is where they're born. Yes. So you get to see something in the Absolutely. Get and and it's better. It's yeah. more intimate. Like you get to really spend time like in it with the bands yeah. and with the fans. You can feel and the sweat off the stage. That's it's the great. best bit. <laughs> that's the best bit. That's what we like. So what is for next for the future of Piston Head? What are you looking to go forward with? And is there any new ideas that you're looking to get into? Um, so basically just want to keep up the momentum. So I think we've sponsored around 30 projects already and we only wow. launched in February. That's amazing. So um, yeah, it's been quite a few. So yeah, just kind of like want to keep on that momentum. And um, we've got enough, like I don't, I'm not even going out and reaching out to people really, like so many people coming through on the website. So yeah, we're also quite keen to work with um, maybe some other music or arts charities. Yeah. Um, so I think collaboration would be really cool. So um, there's Music Venues Trust, which is um, a charity that supports independent and grassroots music venues. Um, so I think maybe a collaboration would be really cool. That would be or amazing. Or England and maybe do stuff because they also do loads of funding. So what advice would you give to someone that might want to get sponsorship from you or kind of get have something from you guys? What, what would you suggest is a good way to get in there? Yeah, so um, if you've got a passion project that you're really sort of keen to do something with and you're really passionate about it and yeah. you think it's something different and something interesting and you, you'd love our support um, if you're a new or emerging sort of artist, um, then definitely just get in touch with us. So um, you can go on our, onto our website, which is pistonheadfoundationuk.com. Oh, I like um, that. And then, UKM .com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, just go onto the support page and then just fill in what your cause is and then yeah, we'll do everything we can to help.